Hello you guys. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different and I just wanted to go over all of the new uh, products that Lush Fresh Handmade Cosmetics has um, put out uh, for us to buy for Easter and for Mother's Day and which of those 30 products are my favorites. So that's part of this video is which of the Mother's Day and Easter 2018 products are my favorites. I've tried all of them now and have demoed all of them and reviewed them and so and so I have my favorites and I just you know people were like well do you have your favorites and if so can you make a video of them so that's what I'm doing and then the other part of this video is I'm going to be um, just sort of briefly um, mentioning some of the summit the lush summit exclusives and I'll be getting the uh, lush summit exclusives um, uh, anywhere from one to two weeks from now and so when I get those I can do a haul video for you and I'll be reviewing demoing taking photos and tub demos of all of those products and so so first I just wanted to I have uh, gathered I've gathered all of the Easter and Mother's Day products and as you guys know from seeing my Mother's Day and my Easter haul videos and all of my tub demos of all the products um, you know that I have some favorites and we have the April And then we have the mom, what I made for you. And then we have, of course, the golden egg. Bath bomb slash bath melt. And then we have the inner truth. Bath oil. And then as far as the bubble bars, we've got, I enjoyed all of the Lush Bath Bombs uh, this spring. Every single one of them. I just love them. Um, the Madam President, the scent of this is so damn nice. It's, it's like an herby citrus. So it's different. And that's, and that's one thing I like about all of the scents of the products that uh, I'm mentioning, they're all different scents, uh, different than anything that Lush has made in previous years. Um, the ones, there are plenty of products this year that have no scent twin whatsoever, um, and some that do. And then, uh, so these two, mm, this one is more of an herby floral, and you can see the incredible sparkly purple and gold water this makes in my demo. And then this one has more of a gorgeous rose and orange sort of citrusy floral scent and the gorgeous pink purple color of this one is also really, really cool. This one makes more of an orange water when it's all said and done. This one makes more of a purple water with gold shimmer. So as far as the end result of the water, Madam President would be my favorite over the Incredible Mum. So while they're both five-star bath bombs, this one is, in my opinion, uh, better all the way around including the end result of the water and that this one is Madam President and it has an herbal citrus scent so definitely buy this one definitely buy this one and then the rose bombshell rose of course is the rose jam fragrance rose jam rose argan all of those products with that scent that's what rose bombshell is made with and the giant rose bombshell as well now the giant rose bombshell is no longer being sold for some reason on the site so 
you can watch my demo video um, for this, but that's why these were so expensive. They were, I think they were either $12.95 or $15.95. I can't remember. I think they were $12.95 because they're three times the size and weight of a regular rose bombshell bath bomb. So if you like the rose jam scent, then the rose bombshell bath bomb is the one to get. Although, like I say, neither the rose bombshell regular size nor the extra large are on the site any longer for some reason. The next thing in my favorites list is going to be Mum, look what I've made for you. This is the slowest melting fizzer of the entire bunch. This one took about 12 to 15 minutes to completely fizz away. So if you like bombs that last a long time in the tub, then you would like look what I've made for you. Look, mom, uh, mom, look what I've made for you. It's supposed to look like a piece of pasta, you know, like those spaghetti paintings, like little kids make their moms on Mother's Day in elementary school. The smell of this is absolutely divine. It smells like an almond cherry cookie. This one's a creamy, yummy scent. It's made with almond oil as well. And it just smells yummy. And it makes really pretty bath art. This, this one wins, uh, this one wins straight away over all of these for as far as bath art is concerned. Whereas this one wins for the end result of the water, which is a purple color with gold. So this one winds up with a different color water completely and no glitter. All right, so, so that's three bath bombs in my favorites list. The next bath bomb is April showers. And I love this, um, yes, because it has my name, but also because look at it, it's the cutest thing in the world. Okay, it's a cloud shape. Hello, and uh, the little um, the little olive oil um, little pink and purple things are absolutely gorgeous in the tub. If you haven't seen my demo uh, tub demo of this, you must see it, especially at the end. Um, it's really cool what they've done, and this is a lovely new violety fragrance. It's of a fresh herby green woodsy violet it's not exactly a scent twin to tuca tuca or ultraviolet or curbside violet but it is along the lines i would say this is more along the lines of ne worry pa bath bomb that lush makes it's called ne worry pa if i'll leave a link to ne worry pa below uh, in my blog if you want to check that out but it also has that same a milky water that Nayweri Pa does at the end. It's very lovely and very sweet, floral, and fragrant. So that's April showers. So these would be my four top four favorite bath bombs this spring. So those are those. All right, now let's talk about inner truth. <laughs> Inner Truth is a bath melt. That's how it's sold. Is it's, it's called a bath melt. Some of you might say, well, it's kind of the same as a bath bomb. It kind of is, except, except it's not. It, it's got a lot more cocoa butter and things that bath bombs don't have. But it does fizz in the water quite a long time. Now, of all of the products that Lush has made for Mother's Day 2018 and for Easter 2018, I would say that this Inner Truth Bath Melt is in my top three spring 2018 products. This right here is absolutely incredible. Not only is this bath melt huge for a bath melt, am I right? It's huge because look how wide it is, right? It's wide, um, it's huge, and 
It's two tiered. It's got two different colors. It's gorgeous. The smell of this, even if this was ugly, <laughs> the smell of this is absolutely to die for. It's got two different kinds of orange oil, Brazilian orange oil and sweet wild orange oil. Plus it's got bergamot and I believe it's got something else in there, almond oil and orris root. Orris root is something that Lush puts in their Tisty Tosty bath bomb as well. It gives it a, a really nice sort of a, uh, I don't know how to describe the scent. It's like a powdery, sweet, woody note. It's really romantic and, and lovely. So this has that orange smell, but it's also got that orris root. And I'm telling you, it's absolutely gorgeous. The scent is strong. This fizzed for 15 minutes before fizzing out. It lasted so long. And you can see what color it made at the end in the water. <laughs> That's why this is, it's, it, this is either my, it's a, definitely in my top three Easter and Mother's Day 2018 products, if not number one or two. Really, seriously. If you can find this anywhere on eBay or anywhere, you need to get one. So there's that. Okay, and then now we're going to go to the bubble bars. My favorite bubble bars uh, this Mother's Day and Easter are two different kinds of bubble bars. I would have to say that these two are my favorites this year. Purple Drain, well, I mean, it's purple, so naturally I'm going to gravitate towards this right away. But the scent of this is so different and wonderful. It's got black pepper and it's got mint. Now, people keep saying, oh, it smells like ladybug bubble bar. It's not the same scent as the ladybug bubble bar. Let me repeat, it's not the same scent as the ladybug bubble bar. It's similar to it because they both have mint, but that's all they share. Um, the ladybug bubble bar has geranium in it, and this does not have any geranium in it whatsoever. And I know how you guys feel, some of you guys, how you feel about geranium. Geranium isn't in here. So it's just a straight, I'm telling you, you're going to love this. There, I don't know anyone who isn't going to love this. It's not sweet. It's not a sweet scent. and It's not an earthy scent. It's pretty. It's almost pretty. Even though there's black pepper and mint in it, you wouldn't think a black pepper and mint would be pretty, but it is. Trust me, just buy one. You won't be sorry. You just won't. Now, there were three of these this year. The blue one isn't here, it's missing. Uh, that's because I've used both of them, but also because the blue one is not my favorite. The blue one is the scent of Sakura and the scent of Mother Superior from years before. Um, it's the scent of Godiva, um, uh, I'm not Godiva, sorry, Scenic um, Solid Shampoo Bar and such. It's a beautiful mimosa floral. It's a light spring, lovely young floral. I don't, it's just not my favorite and that's why it's not here. So, however, citrus are doing it for themselves. That's what this is called. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> I know that I'm probably gonna get a lot of like rotten tomatoes thrown at me or something by you guys because I know you guys are so tired of citrus. Some of you guys are so tired of citrus, but I'm telling you this. Of all the things that, that you know how there's always one thing that you pick up and you're always sniffing it? Like in any haul that you guys get, there's always one thing where you just can't stop sniffing it <laughs> that is this for me i t 
took a bite out of this, okay? I couldn't help it. I was going on and on in my head for weeks with this thing, and I finally took a bite out of it, and I knew when I did it was gonna be gross, and I was gonna go spit up in the sink and whatnot because it would taste like soap, but I couldn't help it. I couldn't help it because that's how good this smells. It smells like a Terry's chocolate orange that you would eat. Oh my God. Just the most magnificent tangerine orange smell you've ever smelled in your life. And it's sweet. Not sickeningly sweet, but sweet. Oh, it smells like something you would eat. So this is definitely a favorite of mine. Definitely a favorite of mine. And, um, so those are my favorite things. Now, two of, two of the things that fell on my favorites list um, are not new. They're carryovers from past Easter years, but they're still on my favorites list. And those are the Golden Egg Bath Bomb slash Bath Melt from Lush which is made in the Honey I Wash the Kids scent. It's Raining Men scent. It smells like toffee. It's made with orange and bergamot. And the Bunch of Carrots bubble bars. This one has a, this one has a floral and fruity scent. Not fruity like citrusy, but fruity almost like berry-ish because they're made with currant berries. So they're also made with bushu oil and carrot oil. So it's fruity and floral and pretty, just pretty and luscious and yummy, slightly sweet, very natural smelling, but pretty and fruity. It smells really, really, really nice. You know, this is one that I don't know how to feel about it. Um, I think it's gonna go on my favorites list though. The reason why I was confused or really didn't know at first because cause Lush made two different bubble bars this year, both with the same scent. Um, the good thing is that they're both made with the Twilight scent. We've never had a bubble bar ever made in the twilight fragrance we've had shower gels we've had perfumes we've even had fun bars but no bubble bars until this mother's day and lush chose to make two one of them is a regular style lush bubble bar the squishy kind and the other kind is the reusable bubble spinner um, spinner bubble bar and so I think the good thing is that Lush made a bubble bar with the Twilight scent. I think we can all say thank you Lush, thank you, thank you, thank you. And so that's why I like Bob Bar. Now in the past Lush has made Bob Bar, this is the third, I believe it's the third year in a row, that Lush has made Bob Bar for Mother's Day. and. The other two years that Lush has made this, they made it with the Bathos bubble bar fragrance. Bathos is a retro classic bubble bar, and Lush made the Bob bar in the discontinued Bathos fragrance the last couple of years, which is really nice. It was a spicy clove and violet fragrance with some uh, jasmine and rose in it. This year, Lush decided to surprise us and make a bar, ball bar that looked the same, but it has the Twilight fragrance made with lavender and tonka bean and alang alang. And it's purple on the inside. I haven't done a demo video of, I've done a demo video of ball bar here on my YouTube video, YouTube channel and my blog, but I haven't done uh, a demo video of the ball bar that smells like Twilight but it looks the same. And so um, I'll do a demo video of this soon, perhaps in a bath cocktail. And to, and then there's the bubble spinner version. And to me, sorry, it's, <laughs> it, this 
seems gratuitous to me. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's like, you know, gratuitous bubble spinner. I think um, enough with the bubble spinners. I think this is like, let's see, like she made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Lesh has made seven bubble bar spinners in the past six months. I think that's enough. <laughs> it's nice that they did make one that's twilight scented and the color, I mean, who doesn't like this color? And um, I did a demo of this and you can see the pink water is really gorgeous, but it's certainly not my favorite. So that doesn't go on my favorites list. Now the new soaps, we've got the purple loose strife soap, which I don't have here with the gold glitter in it. Then we've got the rosebud and the lemon zest and the chamomile lawn. And while there seems to be a soap for everybody this year, uh, those of you who like citrus scents, will love the lemon zest. Those who love florals will love purple loosestrife and rosebud. And those gentlemen who don't like flowery scents or even ladies who don't like flowery sweet scents but like more natural scents will love the chamomile lawn one. And so these soaps would fall on my favorites list. Not all of them, but um, particularly I like the rosebud uh, scent quite a bit because as you know I do like rose and so uh, I would put this on my favorites list as well um, this one has orange flower and rose in it as well uh, the purple loose strife is also a gorgeous floral made with violet in it and the lemon is also really really nice it's very fresh if you like the scent of real lemons with a lemon rind and the juice and a, a real lemon scent and a real strong one, then you will love lemon zest. It's moisturizing. You can see it's got that the co loaded with cocoa butter in the middle. And I like these new soap styles that sit up in the shower or, you know, in the soap dish, they sit up instead of flat like regular soaps. They've got m way more essential oils and fragrance in the soap so that the scent in the soap lasts the entirety of the soap life, not just when you first get it. Um, the colors are great. The new laser designs on the soap are great. So that way you know kind of what the soap smells like by the design of it. Some of them have little things on the inside like glitter or cocoa butter, etc. And I just think that there's something for everyone as far as uh, the four of these new uh, soaps. And so, and along the lines of soaps, my favorite soap this Mother's Day and Easter 2018 would be the Raspberry Milkshake Soap. This is a gorgeous soap with purple flowers on the top of it. It's moisturizing. It smells like raspberry milkshake. It's absolutely yummy. It's beautiful. Look at that color. I mean, oh my gosh. Um, it's more moisturizing than other Lush soaps. It's very indulgent. I really enjoy using it. And so I would include that in my favorites. Now, as far as the Lush Summit 2018 products, um, I will be getting uh, some Lush Summit products um, in anywhere from one to two weeks. And so, uh, as a lot of you already know, I've had them uh, pictures and descriptions and such on my blog for a, f a month now and so uh, we've got the uh, um, I've listed them in alphabetical order and I can tell you which ones that I'll be able to show you and there are basically five things that I won't be able to show you so we've got 
The first thing is the Agbog Blushy. Um, uh, it's the cell phone. I call it the <laughs> cell phone bath bomb because <laughs> it makes the sound of a cell phone when you drop it in the water. <laughs> so I'll show you what that looks like when I get that. There's the Argan Dragon uh, new shower oils. Uh, shower oil uh, uh, Argan Dragon is one shower oil there are eight or nine of them and um, while I won't be getting all nine of them I'll be able to show you six of them six or seven and um, then there is birch birch is a new soap and it's along the lines in design of these new types of soaps here And then there's Bug Splat. Now, Bug Splat, I have already demoed here on my YouTube channel, and it's on my blog, so you can check that, check that out. It's one of my favorites, and that's made in the uh, the Bug scent. Uh, I've done a demo uh, review of the fragrance, the Lush fragrance called The Bug here on my YouTube channel. Uh, there's Coco Loco shower oil. I'm really looking forward to that because there was a cosmetics to go shower oil in 1993 called Coco Loco and so um, and I loved it and I'm really looking forward to using the actual solid version of the shower oil. I won't be getting that however that kind so I'll have to uh, uh, wait and uh, be able to buy that later on. Then there's Cool Beans Shower Oil, and that one looks like it has coffee beans in it, so I'll, I'll be getting one of those. And Desert Date, which is, um, I get that one and Samphire mixed up. There's Desert Date is either a soap or a body scrub, and I believe it's a body scrub. I will be getting that as well, so I'll be able to show you uh, what that's like. The next one is Fox Bath Bomb. I already have a tub demo and review of the Fox Bath Bomb here on my YouTube channel and on my blog as well, and I can link that below. That one is made in the Flying Fox fragrance. Also is the Gay is Okay soap, and I have a uh, review and demo YouTube video here on my YouTube channel of that one and on my blog as well. That one was made in the Love Fragrance. This one is Hands of Friendship Soap, and I have a demo uh, and review video of that here on my YouTube channel and on my blog as well. It's a really pretty soap, and that one was made in the same scent as the Cyanide Pill. The next one is I Wish for World Peace, and this is a bath bomb. Uh, it's um, a bath bomb that Lush made a couple of years ago, but the name has changed. It was called Groovy Kind of Love, and uh, Lush has changed the name to I Wish for World Peace. The next thing is called Como Ruby, and it's a bath oil, and it's made with in the laser design. I won't be able to a demo that one for you, but I do have that one listed in my blog with the help of some lovely people. The next one is a bath melt, and that one's called Manouche Zatar, and I have, uh, I'll be getting that. I have that now, I just, I don't think I've demoed that one yet. Manouche Zatar, and that one was made in the uh, Lush fragrance that's called Manouche Zatar that's being sold right now in the Gorilla Series 4. The next one is called May Day Bath Bomb. I love that bath bomb. I have a demo, uh, a tub demo of May Day Bath Bomb here on my YouTube channel and on my blog uh, as well. It's a very spicy, wonderful scent uh, with like fennel and anise and uh, cinnamon and it's, it's a great scent, great bath bomb. And that one was made, so the proceeds will go to save the uh, badger's habitats from being destroyed in certain areas around the world. And then there comes the mermaid bath bombs. I'm getting a couple of those and I'm going to show you that and um, perhaps have a giveaway with one of those. And the next is Mina Masoma. Uh, 
shower oil and I won't be getting any I won't be getting one of those but I do have that listed on my blog the next is a also another shower oil called Nausicaa's gold and uh, I'll be getting that as well so I'll be able to show you uh, what that's like the next one is called peace pioneers and that's another shower oil and I'll be able to demo that for you when I get it in a couple of weeks as well the next one is called road from Damascus and I've demoed that in the tub here on my YouTube channel and on my blog as well that's a lovely bath oil that's made in the perfume that Lush makes called road from Damascus and I can link my demo of that down below the next one is called Sky Dancer Bath Bomb. It's a lovely bath bomb. And that one is made to protect the hen carrier chicks from being destroyed uh, from and their habitats uh, around the country from being destroyed as well. And that I have a bath demo of Sky Dancer Bath Bomb here on my YouTube channel and on my blog, and I can link that as well. And next is the SOS Solid Shampoo Bar. And I won't be getting one of those, but I do have that on my blog if you wanna read about that one as well. The next one is called Tiger Tiger Burning Bright Bath Bomb. And I'll be able to demo that for you in a week or two. And then next is called Trident Bath Bomb and I'll be able to demo that for you in a week or two. It looks just like the yellow submarine bath bomb, except it's black, so that should be interesting. And then next is the Vertigo Abanyanga shower oil, and I'll be able to demo and review that one for you as well in a couple of weeks. Oh, and the Mama Turtle, uh, Mama Turtle and Baby Turtle uh, Jelly Bombs as well. I'll be able to uh, demo those for you. And so if you have questions about any of these products, either any of the Mother's Day products or the, any of the Easter products or any of the um, uh, Summit products, go ahead and comment down below and I'll answer as soon as I can. If you enjoy this video, please like my video by giving me a thumbs up down below. That helps my channel grow and I really appreciate it and if you're not already subscribe to my channel and that way you'll be notified whenever I upload a new Lush demo video and I upload from one to five times every week and thanks for watching we'll talk to you very soon on the next Lush video and um, actually I think I might have a, a Lush video and a metaphysical video coming up uh, soon. So we'll talk to you really soon on the next video. Thanks for watching you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.